For this next presentation, I'm going to talk to you about mobilizing and manipulating the OA joint. The OA joint is known as the occipital atlanto joint. It is where the occipital bone will sit on C1. And the way I think about this is, um, like C1, C2 will allow you to rotate, okay, because C1 will sit on C2 like this, and then we have that pivot joint, whereas the OA joint will allow you to nod. That is a little bit of a, a lateral shift, like a lateral glide. And I think about it, so if you think about the occipital um, as a big ball, like a core ball, an exercise ball, and then you put your arms out, and then the ball will sit in it like this. Okay, so this is like a lateral mass on the C1 here. And then the ball, which is the occipital, will sit in your arms. So then you, you allow it to, to nod, to go forward and backwards, but there has to be like a little bit of a glide in sort of like technique in here. Now, the OA typically follows what we call a type 1 motion, so the side bending and rotation is to the opposite side. Um, it's linked in with the TMJ as well, so if you've had recent dentistry, it can affect the TM, okay, which can then affect the OA joint, which then might give you some headaches. There are lots of muscles around this occipital area, um, known as, the, as a group of muscles called the suboccipital muscles in here. And then these can cause headaches here yeah, and all sorts of problems, because uh, it affects the, the greater occipital nerve from there. So, one way of doing this, because there are many, so what we're going to do is I'm going to hand either side of the ear, my hand on the opposite side is the same, and I tend to rotate my patient halfway, and then from there, it's almost like a, like a spring technique, okay, relax, let go, let go. So I'm going to mobilize him. So the idea is, is that as I'm pushing towards the couch there, the right side OA joint is going to close down, and the left OA joint is going to open up, okay? So we have like a lateral glide on the left, and then the right side is just immediately gliding, okay? So it's just coming that way. So from there, I can also use it to ascertain mobility. So then from there, I can push and mobilize in this way. So the right side is opening more than the left side is closing, okay? So you can use it as a guide to an assessment. And if you are treating, you can just literally use that type of pressure, just watch the pressure, and you can mobilize and come in through that. Okay, and then you can mobilize. And if you are going to do a thrust, just be a little bit careful. The thrust is literally from there, lock, 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 and then you literally just push down. Sometimes it cavitates, it just depends on whether it needs to cavitate, uh, whether naturally the alignment is, is correct, yeah, for that. So you're literally coming in there, and we use it, and we can come this way, hand on this side, hand this side, and then mobilize, and then we can spring through, and the thrust is going to be simply from there to the couch, to try to open the bottom side. So then that would be one almost simple way of mobilizing and manipulating the occipital atlanto joint.